Good morning, everyone. Today is a day that's near and dear to my heart. It's finally time to hang stands. Gotta get my, uh, change some scents here because I'm going to freshen and make some new mock scrapes today in some new locations. I'm gonna hang a couple cameras. Um, I'm planning on hanging about four sets today. We're waiting on our good friend Cody Robinson. Um, he is the head or co-founder of Iron Creek Outdoors, but he's become a really good friend to us. So sometimes you just gotta call Cody because uh, yeah, he says he's gonna get up in the morning, but sometimes he doesn't, but that's okay. We called him today and he did answer. Um, supposed to be should be coming down the street any minute here. Oh, I see him right now. So we're gonna park in the driveway. My neighbor's house is getting demoed. Um, started on fire about six months ago. And uh, we're gonna get going here. Hey, park in the driveway, buddy. They're uh, they're gonna demo this house later today. More. Oh shit. Yeah. Wow. See. So yeah, that's fine. Half a mile. Yeah, that works. So. We'll catch you in the woods. All right, guys. But we are slowly closing in on our destination. Um, got here quicker than I thought. However, with the derecho we had in early August in Iowa, there's trees down everywhere. So finding the path that I wanted to find has been close to impossible. But we made it. So, up, so we're, we're getting after it here. Um, we're probably gonna find a good tree to squat down against and uh, I've got a pretty good idea of where I'm gonna hang this stand um, and We're just gonna see what we see. It's still um, Early light so we may be able to catch some deer movement here this morning hang this stand hey, with this, you owe me a deer drag. If I get a buck you owe me a deer drag dude I drag more deer for the people during season than I do myself. I'll be there. <laughs> Bush light on you. Woo! <laughs> but Nate's gonna kill five does out here this year. I asked this dude to make me a tree tether. I buy a safety harness. I leave it in the truck. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> really? This is my first step to being a safer hunter this year, and I failed already. Good thing I got three more chances today. Kind of insult. We're close. I remember we scouting all this. We're getting close to it. It should be pretty much straight ahead, I think. <laughs> yeah, let's check it out. Check it out as loudly as we can. I'm way further up than that. We're about there. We're going to this big jungle shape area um, because of the tree difference. And we are pretty much right in the high point right now. Walks through that low point, but we're gonna try to get right on this saddle either here or here. Um, honestly, I'd rather get to this side just because of the funnel it makes, and then I got opportunities to shoot both both fields and come up on the feet. If you look around us, that's some major bedhead, bud. So we are gonna try to get them going back and forth. This is an urban zone, so they're going to be A to B, and I'm just trying to get away from people, and I think, huh? I think we did it. Yeah. We're away from people, but we're covered in burrs, and my new Iron Creek shirt is ruined, probably. I'm going to have to buy another one. So, we'll see. All right, folks. We're going to walk up to this field edge here. 
I saw a massive sign out there this year. I shed hunted the shit out of this place. Uh, however, I mean, I couldn't get through this jungle in March, February, and I'm not afraid to get on my hands and knees and, and crawl, and I did, and I got stuck and turned back around several times. As crappy as a walk as it was in here, I really think we took the best possible path we could, and uh, the more we walk it, the more our trails will become definitive, and we'll, we'll get in here um, a lot better. So, glory in it is it's only taken us 35 minutes to get where we're at. Um, so that's reassuring because I, I don't mind walking 40, 45 minutes to get in, but I want to be in the right spot. So stay tuned. We're going to find that spot right now. So Cody's back there, probably wondering what the fuck he got himself into. Um, just went and checked out the other side of this ravine here, uh, where we saw three deer. Um, however, I think that we're both in agreement that the other side had better, a better trail. Um, and upon rethinking everything, I think that maybe those deer were headed where we were anyways, and they saw us and they, they flipped the other direction. This trail over here is pretty uh, pretty significant, pretty directional, um, which hopefully means we can set up for a good shot. Um, it is realistically where I thought the better area would be. However, I'm pretty anal about where I hang my stand and I wanted to check out the best area as possible. Plus the interstate's so damn loud out here that, you know, who knows. But, now we know where we're going. Uh, stay tuned and we're going to start setting up real soon. Well, I've gotten fatter. I'm tired. I've only hung one stand and i still got three to go. But I'm feeling in love with the spot. I was a little unsure of it until I got up here. Now that I'm up here... You're going to see what I love about it. Check it out. Thanks for your help, bud. Appreciate it. This one wasn't going in by myself, man. This one wasn't coming in by myself. For real. Now I just gotta find a good route out of here, which is what we're gonna work on next. I'm gonna let Cody pop up here and see this stand. Um, I think he's instantly gonna know why I like, I, I already love this location. So, two weeks, we're gonna be back up in the stand, ready to kill. All right, we're just gonna meander our way out of here. Um, yeah, so we're just trying to find a good path out. Obviously, it's going to be easier walking out than walking in because we don't have to carry everything. Uh, I can't say enough how confident I think I am in that spot. Um, saw three deer that probably would have crossed right in front of that trail had we uh, been hunting today and not hanging. Um, you could probably hear the interstate. Uh, that's how close we are to civilization. Um, this is just a the county park and um, 
We're gonna hunt the crap out of it. I gotta shoot five does. Uh, shoot five does, you get that coveted third Iowa buck tag, which is anybody knows, unless you're a landowner in Iowa, you don't get that. You don't get that tag. Um, I tell you, I'm gonna have to work for it because I know if I call to drag a deer out of here, Cody's not gonna help me. Uh, he's not gonna help me drag a deer out of here. I know that. I will try. <laughs> I will try. It is a. Uh, it's thick, um, but I think it's gonna be rewarding. And this this storm has just got sticks down everywhere, trees, full-fledged trees. But so right now my goal is to find a decent path from here out of here, just by following this, this edge of the woods. Um, not sure how likely that's going to be, judging from the walk in, but also it was really dark. Um, the gray light was nice this morning. We got in, we got to see what we wanted to see, and uh, we're just gonna keep grinding. I mean, it's all about the grind, and uh, finding that redemption this is really what we're based off of, is you know finding those opportunities, the diamond in the rough, you know, um, do have a little bit of family land, but other than that, I'm not really blessed with a bunch of land to hunt. So doing these public land hunts and the city hunts are a big deal. Um, so we're gonna grind them out and see what we can do. sitting here thinking the same thing but I was biting my tongue <laughs> so I didn't want to jinx it I was like man either it was just really dark and we struggled this morning or this is really easy here's where the hard part comes in thanks Cody captain obvious I do what I can actually I'm gonna start attacking this trail I think we twist those sticks they're hitting me in the head just the bottom, kick the bottom out. There you go. Um. to location number two. Um, it's a spot I'm particularly excited about. Some new public started scouting last year and it has just produced and produced and produced uh, photo-wise. Um, there is two very large bucks running out here that I know of for sure. Um, one that I call straight eight and another that I call Mac. Um, Mac I've had history with. Um, I've seen him on the other side of the interstate. Actually, I'm pretty sure I picked up his sheds, um, and last year he ghosted me. Um, and the struggle I had with the other side of the road was there was a, not a whole lot of bedding area. It's pretty open river bottom. However, this still qualifies as river bottom, and it is thick. So I'm optimistic that we're going to, uh, to be able to do something here. We're actually getting ready to hang our first set. Got Cody back with we were helping us uh, get front of backwards redemption, Iron Creek Outdoors. Um, and we're gonna see if we can't get this set primo. Stay tuned. Thanks for following. Well, stand number four is hung. Not without some colorful language and some uh, dark times that we got it done. So we got <laughs> three, four killer spots I think this year and uh, and we're just tucking into these little nooks and crannies, but we've been getting so many deer pictures off these trails 
I just think we're gonna get it done. I mean, we're not very high in some of these trees, but the cover in here is just immaculate. So I guess we are going to uh, trek out and um, got the cell camera updated, so I'm pretty pumped about that. That was irritating. Um, see what we see, because now everything is going to be, you know, live. You know, we got we got our setups here. We're not going to be back in here till we hunt. Um, do some collabs probably, and uh, if we do that, we'll just do a we'll use our XOP hang-ons and we'll do some filming, which I think in both in all locations we have the opportunity to do so. Um, just gotta get in here a little bit early to to hang that set, so. Stay tuned. Follow Iron Creek Outdoors. Uh, Cody Robinson's a great guy. Um, and stick with us here and, and see what progress we can bring in. Um, all right, let's walk out. What do you think, boss? I'm ready to go home, drink some water, have a couple beers. But Hot. today was definitely worth it. Hot, fat, and tired. White. Life of a redneck, right? Oh, yeah. Drink some scents right there. Keep it fresh. I want to come in here and creep over because most of them are going to come straight in. Backside enter. Backside entrance. Depends on the wind, I guess. Sometimes it might not matter. Actually, every time I've been in here and I've hung cameras, hung sets or whatever, every time I leave, a half hour later, I have a deer come up on camera checking, checking me out. All right, guys, we're just exiting the public ground here. Uh, just want to give you guys a chance to meet Cody as well. Um, Iron Creek Outdoors, we used to work together uh, and then just decided to take it further. Um, we went our separate ways with work and uh, did a little, a um, couple little hunts last year. And this year we decided we, you know, we kind of have same outlooks on, on the outdoors. So I'm gonna hand it over to him and uh, let you guys meet him. What's up guys, I'm Cody with Iron Creek Outdoors. Um, we're based out of Des Moines. I've got two guys on staff, Marvin Bacon, Caleb Brainhagen. We're kind of small, but we're a tight knit group. Um, majority of all what we do is all run and gun set up. Uh, we teamed up, like I said, with Nate with uh, Backwoods Redemption. And we're gonna try to play some deer this year. More of a hands-on approach, just trying to get out, get scouting a lot more, figure out where the deer are, you know, put some patterning down the best we can. Um, you know, give them the chance to mend with uh, backwoods redemption and Iron Creek, you know, is a, is a huge opportunity for us, you know, to get some exposure. But like Nate said in our video, you know, it's not about the fame, it's not about the fortune, it's all about the adventure. You know, we're uh, one team, one fight, just trying to make it work and uh, put a couple big deer on the ground and feed the families, put meat on the table. But uh, yeah, I mean, we got a few sponsors. We got. Uh, um, Jinx and Scents, based out of Cedar Rapids, 
We got better to the hunt um, out of Nampa, Idaho. And we got deer cows based out of Missouri who does all of our deer cows. Sorry, decals. Um, and then uh, partnership with Altera Alpaca Socks, and, uh, which are just a few of what we got. You know, we're always looking to expand. And uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in.